Hey, my name is Samant. This is a promo video of our work done with my collaborators from UCSD and UChicago. So here's the context. Today, if you want to send an email from a source to a destination, various cloud-based third-party vendors are involved. For instance, the email provider on either side can be any cloud provider like Gmail or Exchange. Further, if you want to use email filtering to filter inbound email, you would use cloud-based vendors like Proofpoint, Mimecast, or Barracuda. Now, the way these filtering services are set up is that first, you route emails to their servers, filter any threats, and only the sanitized email are sent to the final destination. Now, in addition, they provide a bunch of other benefits too, like malware scanning or anti-spoofing. But the problem is that an adversary who is sending mail and who knows where the filtered email is being delivered can directly route emails to that destination. Now to prevent this, a domain owner has to secure the binding between the filtering service and the hosting provider. And you do this by whitelisting. For instance, you can configure rule on the provider side that says, to only accept email from a particular filtering service, example, Proofpoint. And any attempt to directly route email to the backend is rejected. Now, given this context, the empirical question that motivated us is how do you infer the integrity of this binding at scale? But in doing so, there are two challenges. First, we had to infer what the backend hosting provider was. And second, we had to test the integrity of this binding at scale in an ethical way without having to spam real users. So in this paper, we present techniques to do both of these. And using these techniques, we test the integrity of 1,600 popular domains. In doing so, we studied domains using 15 popular filtering services and other popular hosting providers. And nearly 80% of all the domains we studied are misconfigured to allow filtering bypass. So in summary to this promo video, we designed a methodology to infer the possibility of filtering bypass. And using that methodology, we audited 1,600 popular domains, found that 80% of them are misconfigured to allow bypass. And lastly, we disclosed this issue to the vendors of the filtering services to help notify their customers and improve their documentation. Thank you.